Well, it's been a tough year mentally for a whole lot of people in West Michigan, and health professionals say that additional restrictions could make things even worse. And today they told our Lauren Edwards they're worried about their patients, especially the ones struggling with substance abuse. It's really a dance to try to figure out how to how to navigate this this time for everyone, especially for people who struggle with addiction and substance abuse. The team at Arbor Circle, a mental health and counseling organization, are worried for their patients. Substance abuse is a big deal, and we've had um, we've had overdoses during this time. CEO Kristen Geetson says the pandemic so far has been an isolating and difficult time for their patients and additional restrictions from the health department could add to those difficulties. You're sitting around your house and people are, you know, drinking, um, drinking more than they had before or, you know, trying to self-medicate and using other substances. She says what worries them most are the other people it's affecting like children. We're seeing in the child welfare system, we're seeing a decline in reports of child abuse and neglect. However, Geetson says they're determined to continue to help their patients and their families in any way they can. The most important uh, advice I think that we have for, for anyone, whether they're dealing with mental health issues or substance abuse issues, is pay attention to how your body feels. And to respond to it positively by creating good habits, she says, and by getting active, even if it's just a walk around the block. We can do a lot to help our mood and help our um, circulation and all of the things that positively impact the way that we think. She recommends meeting with therapists and counselors online. She says it's not the same as in person, but they want their patients to know they're not alone. We're all in this situation together, you know, and as a community, as a nation, well, you know, the whole world. In Grand Rapids, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News. And if money or insurance is an issue, Geetson recommends that people start with their city or their county's mental health agency.